I'll be in the rave. Festival number five. Here we go. Brunch on the road time. Again. We're back on the road again. I haven't been to so sleep. Your, last night. This 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 fucking girl is absolutely mental. She hasn't slept. I've barely recovered from last weekend. But we're going to return to dance in London now. Yeah. And I'm excited because we're gonna see Chase and Status. We're gonna see some other big DMB acts. We're gonna see a bit of bass lighting. All that good shit. And I'm gonna sleep on the bus so I can get a bit of energy. Oh it. yeah, <laughs> I'm about to get a mega bus. To London in about 15 minutes. Let's go. This is the return to dance lineup. Me. It's sick. There's three stages. I'm looking forward to chasing status this year. <laughs> There's a leash. No, I am pleased. First night out in London. What are you talking oh my about? God. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's half. First it's my, night out it's in my London. First, first ever time out in London. What I've never been out. Okay, that's not. not it's not, it's not even a night out. Though. It's not even it's a night a out. Day out. It's a day out. We're here out in London. In Victoria, it's half twelve, and I want to get to the festival by half one to see Sammy Virgie and Higo. Not happened. Once again, I don't know if we're going to make it. This happens every festival. <laughs> when we went I to Bass Fest, we missed Bad Boy Chilli Crew. Then we almost looked No, it's not you. It's not even me, but I'm just. It's not you, it's person. me. That's no, not me at all. Oh, well. It's, well, yeah, I did book a coach. I could have booked an earlier coach, it's but true. I didn't. It's so true. Yeah, so it is it's not. <laughs> Just organise <laughs> over here, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we'll see what happens. Tomato! Tomato! Oh, no, it's not socially acceptable to love my tomato. Uh, it's like, it? No, it's not socially acceptable <laughs> to throw tomato at the audience. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. You. Does anyone actually watch these Try videos? <laughs> if anyone. <laughs> If anyone watches this video, please let me know and comment because I actually don't know, but I've got a few views now. But if anything, it's just a fun memory to look back on yeah. it. But if you do happen to come across this Tell video for a random reason, just, just let us know. Hi everyone, I'm forcing myself to eat a Mexican bean wrap so I don't have to eat food in the festival because food in the festival costs an absolute bloody fortune I'm not even hungry No, it's not that bad It's just a slightly distressing experience of forcing food down you so you don't have to buy food for the whole day And that's how you do festivals on a budget The absolute scenes Just had to sign up to an app to get some free salsa drink Free drink, tastes like shit, but it's free. Thanks for the pre's, gorilla. Or whatever you're called. White claw. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, it's like a jungle. <laughs> Review point number one. Making a few <laughs> Review point number one. Make an efficient queuing system. Yeah. It's always London festivals that have this kind of kind of approach. I know you're all used to being crammed in on the tube, but it's not efficient. Right, where's the barriers? Where's the line of people? Where's the classic British queuing where's system? Where's the order? That we all know and love. That's Because I'm just here in a group of, I don't even know what, when, where we're supposed to get in. How long it's going to take. But fuck it. This guy dressed as a cone. What a legend. Oh, oh, I was looking at the I was looking at the, the guy dressed as a cone. It's done already. Yeah. We've done it. Quick! Sammy Virgin for two minutes! But we, we made it. Ten minutes, Ten minutes for Sammy Virgin! Sammy Virgin. It was blaming it all on me! I can't you believe we actually fucking got it. That was after stopping to eat food, stopping to get a free drink. A bit, quite a bit cute. And we still got there with 10 minutes to spare of his set. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, it's not cute as well, <laughs> Big up London City, yeah, you lot are fucking going for it this year. They're absolutely the wild out here. The energy here is fucking really good. The 
It's only like 3 p.m. and we're already noticing the energy come back. The south <laughs> does it best. That's a controversial well, southwest does it best, but the south we can edit that. Nah. Pick up the ravens! And here you will find the wild Mackie G playing some bass line bangers, even though he's a drum and bass DJ. But we live for it, it's all good. We got the Mackie G. for the guys in and out quick time yeah, yeah. Alicia Water, five minutes right here. you know what yeah this is, I think this one's gonna get a high rating actually, for hospitality I am very pleasantly surprised by this, yes. this I am I'm, I'm vibing I like this a lot we're vibing we're vibing I'm vibing Go catch a bit of dimension. Oh, do you know what? This festival stage. is bloody amazing. Like, yeah, really nice energy. It. Oh, it's good. It's good for I'm a really day happy. festival. People are going wild. That's what you want. Expectations my... exceeded once again. I'm on festival number five and my throat is feeling it. But it's quite like, the vibes even are though, good. Yeah, even though it's like DMV, it's very, very wholesome here. Like, there's a lot of like, like interactive people and just like, good energy. <laughs> I had a tear in my eye a minute ago, actually. Oh, well, I had, well, I had really we out here vibes for a set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot that, to uphold. That is, you yeah. see the video on that one. You'll see that's a lot to live up to because that was a bad one.
learn to dance. That was sick. Shame the speaker volume, the sound system volume was quiet. It wasn't like that during quiet, the day, was it? It wasn't as quiet as that day. What's that? Yeah, talk to the camera, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm saying oh, it's, oh, right. it was Sorry, sick. <laughs> Shame that the volume wasn't loud, but it was fun. I liked the fire shooting out of the stage. And we're in our hostel in Brixton now. And, uh, <laughs> pretty jokes. Uh, I didn't like expect to turn up to a fucking party hostel. There's a party going on. Oh, here I am, like, well. yeah, I can't wait to come home, go to bed, get some food and stuff. And now, like, I just hear people and music, and I just want to dance again. Even though I'm my feet though. are throbbing. I am dead, like, my feet are throbbing. So we might but give it still... a miss, but there's a yeah. party on downstairs. I think we're going to I mean, really, we are, like, in our 20s. We should just. Are we? No, sorry, I'm we 45. Are in our 20s. Oh, yeah. I'm divorced twice, <laughs> three kids, and a pet dog. Yeah, I think we're going to get food and call it a day, but <laughs> it's buzzing down there still. <laughs> the party never sleeps here, I'll tell you that. Return to dance. Thank you. Oh, hello. I suppose you want a review, don't you? Oh, oh. Yeah, review time. That was a fun festival, to be honest. There were some little parts of it that let me down a little bit, but we'll get onto that in a minute. Starting with ticket price, it was a quite an expensive one, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 for ticket price. It cost me like 67 quid all in all with the processing fees or the booking charges and whatever, which is quite expensive. Now, it is a London festival, so I expect to pay a little bit more, obviously. I'd still say for a day festival, £67 is pretty expensive. Some of the ones I went to in Bristol, like Summer of Love, that was only 28 quid, I think. And uh, Base Fest for two days VIP was only 55 quid. So if you put it in perspective, it's definitely a bit more expensive. But there were some good uh, headliners on there. Worth paying the money for if you want to see them. <coughs> Venue, I'm gonna give it 7.5 out of 10 because the venue was cool. It had quite a lot going on. It had three stages that were all pretty big and had pretty high production quality. Good lighting, you know, got flames shooting out the top, all that good visual stimulation that we love to see. So that was really good. Definitely sold a lot of tickets. It was a little bit overcrowded at points, which is why it loses a, loses a few marks for that. Decent amount of food and bars as well, although there was a long queue. There was a long queues at the bar around between like 5 and 7 p.m. at like peak drinking time meaning that there was a long wait to get a drink at times possibly 20 minutes half an hour wait overall I'm gonna give venue 7.5 out of 10 because the production quality was good however the sound system was what let me down towards the end and that's where we come on to music 6 out of 10 simply because the sound system was so quiet I think there was a point in the night when they had to turn down the volume must have been around about 9 p.m obviously because it's on Clapham Common they've obviously got some sort of noise restrictions but it got to the point where during Chase and Status' set I could literally have a conversation with Alicia at pretty much my normal talking volume now and we could hear exactly what we were, what we were saying to each other what's that Chase and Status track playing? Don't, don't, <laughs> honestly you struggle to hear the music unless you're right next to it a speaker up the front which obviously could be hard to get to other points in the day during like the indoor stages you know it was so crowded it would be hard to hear the sound system properly unless you're at a specific point optimum standing point i guess in between the speakers so unfortunately i'm gonna have to give it a six out of ten though the sets were good hospitality i'm gonna give a 7.5 out of 10 because hospitality was good they had free drinking water that was signposted and easily available a little bit of a queue to get water so they could have had more taps to be fair but i found it all in all pretty easy and there was really no queues for the toilets as you saw in the video for men's or, or girls toilets so yeah that's a positive that's always nice at a festival not to have to spend half the time standing waiting for a shitty portaloo and um yeah there was a welfare section and the staff seemed lovely and helpful so i'll give them props for that so Overall, I'm gonna give this festival a 7 out of 10. It was good fun, however, it probably wasn't the best one I've been to all summer, though I have been to quite a few, as you'll see on the YouTube video. Would I go again? Potentially. If I knew the sound quality was gonna be better, then definitely. Maybe if they held it in another location where they could up the volume, um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was a good lineup. I, I had fun, as you could see on the video. The energy level was in the crowd were really good. It was definitely a little bit of an older crowd compared to a lot of festivals I've been to, which can be really good. And everyone seems to be really up for a boogie, so that made it really special. That's about it, really. The next video after this is gonna be Love Saves the Day. I've also recently done one on We Out Here Festival, which is probably the best festival I've been to all summer, so be sure to check that out. And see you later.